The first thing you're going to want to do to set up VS Code for HTML on a Chromebook is install Linux. To do that, click on the launcher right here and then either type in your settings or find your settings in the apps below. Then click on settings. Okay, now we're going to go to advanced and then developers and turn on. We'll click next and install. Once Linux is installed, a terminal will pop up. Yours may be a different color, but don't worry about that. You just want to make sure everything is up to date before we install VS Code. So we're going to type sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade. We're going to say yes and hit enter. Once that's done, I've seen recommendations to install the GNOME keyring. Although I've installed VS Code without doing that and it still worked. But if you do want to follow that recommendation, you can type sudo apt install GNOME dash keyring and hit enter. Say yes. Once that's installed, you can exit the terminal with either typing exit and hitting enter or doing control D. Okay, you can close out your settings as well and open up a browser. In the browser, we just want to search for VS Code. We want this site code.visualstudio.com. From here, we'll download the .deb file. This is for AMD Chromebooks. For ARM Chromebooks, you're going to have to look at the other releases and get the one for ARM Chromebooks. I'm going to click Download, then I'll click Show in Folder, then I'll click Install with Linux, and OK. Once installed, the app will be available in your apps here. Uh, a lot of times it'll be here, or you can go down and it'll be in your Linux apps sometimes. For me, I've installed it before and I've pinned it to the taskbar. You can do that by right clicking and then clicking Pin. I've pinned it, so you can also unpin it that way but we'll leave it as is and I'll start Visual Studio Code. Once you've started Visual Studio Code you'll see a welcome screen like this with information about the editor. You can go through all this stuff into each section and gain a lot of information. I'm just gonna mark done. Here's the welcome page that you normally see in startup if you leave this checked. I don't want to see it anymore so I'll uncheck it. Okay so setting up VS Code for HTML. We're gonna go click on the extensions here and and we are going to search for Prettier. And once Prettier comes up, we'll click Install. Okay, once it's installed, we can close the window by clicking this X or doing Control W. We can also move now to the settings. To get to the settings, we can either go up to File, Preferences, and click on Settings, or you'll see the keyboard shortcut of Control Comma. If you do Control Comma, you can bring up Settings, and you can search for Format. You see that the default formatter is set to None. I'm going to click on this, and we'll scroll on down until we see and we're going to click on prettier you can set it to format on save just by checking this okay that will help format your HTML to the top styling guidelines okay to open a folder you can go click on the Explorer up here or do control shift E to get to the Explorer and then you can either click on opening a folder or do the keyboard shortcut control K control O you'll see you can create a folder here once that happens and uh, I'm gonna create a folder HTML and click OK it's going to ask you if you trust the authors of the folder. Since I've created it, I'm going to say yes. You can trust the authors of the parent folder as well and say, yes, I trust the authors. We can expand this like this to get it full screen. And we can close and open this with Control B. Okay. To create a file, go over here and we'll create a new file. And to start building your HTML files, you can do you can hit an exclamation point and hit tab, and that'll start an HTML framework. Optionally, if you want your spacing here to be two spaces versus four spaces, you can do Control Comma to get back to the settings and go to tab size and change it to two. For most of my videos, I'm going to be using two, especially with stuff like Bootstrap. So I would recommend two for front end development. And you'll see it now indented with two spaces once we create the file. You can save it and you'll see Prettier does format it a little bit. It brought the body tags up. When you get more stuff in it, you'll see the formatting really change quite a bit. One more thing I like to do, and you'll watch in some of my videos, you'll see this title bar is a little bit different. Change that, I can do control comma, search for title bar, and change from native to custom, which will match the theme. You'll need to restart VS Code to do this. Once restarted, you'll see the new title bar it's pretty sleek one more thing if you want to have fun for front-end development you can go do control shift X to open up the extensions once that's open you can click on this to filter the extensions and you can search by category and go down to themes it's always fun to change your themes okay VS code is pretty much set up for HTML development 